With the recent census and shifting population of the Palmetto State, the General Assembly put $12 million into Rural County Stabilization Fund. And through this funding, any counties that have experienced population growth of less than 5.3% since the 2010 census are eligible to get some money. So here's a breakdown of how this funding is going to go. A baseline of $300,000 to each eligible county, an additional $100,000 to county with a population between 500,000 and 99,000 and an additional $200,000 for eligible counties with a population of more than 100,000 people. Multiple Midlands counties are getting thousands of dollars from this fund to offset the population decline. News 19's Becky Buzz explains how it's impacting counties right here in the Midlands. I'm looking for in the day to come that they put up new houses and get more houses and it'd be more people. And Lifelong Lee County resident Jesse Hickman says he's seen his community shrink throughout the years. According to census data, the county's population declined 14% from 2010 to 2020. It's hard to generate new revenue for new projects when you're trying to take care of your basic recurring costs. So Lee County Administrator Alan Watkins says luckily there's state funding to offset the loss of revenue. Created by the General Assembly, the Rural County Stabilization Fund is a pot of $12 million split among 28 counties. Its goal is to assist slow-growing rural counties replace the loss of taxpayer dollars. If a county's population grew less than 5.35% since 2010, they're eligible to receive money from the fund. Watkins explains Lee County is using this year's $380,000 in funding to improve downtown and quality of life for residents. There were two old dilapidated buildings there that we've removed. We've got an architect doing a design for reclaiming that building from the vegetation and hopefully turning it into an outdoor events Area. In Fairfield County, Sinethia Williams says this year the county is receiving about $350,000. According to census data, the county lost 12% of their population over a span of 10 years. They're doing a land development study and also a housing study. Both of those to help us update our zoning ordinance. We're going through updating our comprehensive plan right now. She adds the county is also exploring a new gateway sign. We don't want to be scrambling to get our ordinances together. We don't want to be scrambling to know where housing should go. Let's go ahead and prepare for that now. According to state data, Sumter is receiving more than $600,000. Orangeburg is getting more than $500,000. And Clarendon is getting nearly $400,000. In Lee County, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX. The fund must be renewed every year by the state legislature.